currently we have uh, 28 of them. Some are in the universities. So. Yeah, we told us. So many like secondary, primary. Then the special children. We started with special children. Children with special needs. But along the line, you know, there's really no world where you have only one group. So let them get to know how to live together. So we've been together for about 15 years now. We have trained about about 12 graduates that have left. We we are like I said, they are from different walks of life. But most of these women, they have gone. Either they are late or they have gone back to their countries. So, and uh, we don't have many Nigerians involved. Why? Mm -hmm. I mean, as society members, you know us now. Nigeria. Everybody is charity in Nigeria. If you tell them to help, they will say even my child, me myself, need help. And apart from that, whatever cannot give you. Uh, maybe where you can have a court, something. Mm. <laughs> Nigerians won't come there. Instead, if you are involved in this type of organization, you spend your personal money. Oh. And it's a lot of money every year. Mm. Apart from the children we are sending to school, even the special ones, some of them are on medication mm. all through their lifetime. Mm. Oh. And it's so really you have to keep buying that medication. medication all the time. So that the situation that we will do, the situation around them will not get worse. So we have to keep them. But we are fortunate because we have some health related workers here that can help them in case we have minor conditions like that. But when we have serious situations, we go to the uh, state of support. And okay, you know, Nigerian government, we pay there too. Mm. We pay them. We pay to even have this organization every year. You have to renew you your five and six <laughs> certificates. Hey. What we are supposed to be doing, we are doing it and they are charging us. We have a woman that was really very involved. That's her. She's a sign of, but she's late. Mm. She went on to be with the Lord three years ago. Mm. She was actively involved. She was the only person I could say that. Yes, I know was the backbone. She had a shop in Ikoi called the Quintessence. If you are around. She's Lebanese? Come again. Lebanese or American? No, no, no. no. She's a, a Swedish woman. Swedish woman. Mm -hmm. Married to a Nigerian. Mm. But the Nigerian died a long time ago. I think they are third year in Nigeria. The man passed on. Mm. But she decided to stay with him. With the kids. Uh, yeah, she adopted two. Mm. One is, is in charge of her shop now. Mm. In a sense, it's an art gallery in Lagos. Mm. Most of the time, when we, do, when we had um, financial situations on we had to our shop. She pay salaries for the staff <coughs> sometimes. You know. That's um, I know. We have greatly missed her because she cannot eat unless she's sure that this place is running well. Wow. That's the type of nature. Her heart was so deep. I mean, this uh, NGO. She was the one always bringing her uh, uh, expatriate friends here. Yeah. So, a long time we had so many Uyghurs coming to visit. She had another NGO, that's a Bolua Foundation, that facilitates adoption of children with special needs abroad. You know, in Nigeria, people don't adopt children with special yeah, yeah, yeah. needs. <laughs> so she facilitates that. We had people coming from Sweden, Netherlands to come and adopt children. Maybe somebody with a hearing defect, speech defect, cleft palate, you know, conditions like that. So when they come like that, it was mandatory they must visit a good house. <laughs> you know, just to make them have interest in a good house. They were always helping us with working on the But now that has stopped, she's no longer alive. We 
is helping us? For several years, <laughs> it was tough running the home. I came in 2003. I met a lot of uh, debts to be paid. We mm. were buying one pong of gari, one pong of rice from the markets. They were not paying. You know? So it was much struggling. Many people from Ijebo, they did not want to come in. Mm. They will even ask you, are the children going to buy it? Questions like that. <laughs> in fact, it was, there was a lot of fasting and prayers hey. to get people to come in. We were doing that every week. Then we got involved with um, the television station started, NTA, the whole day. Then. So we were all having programs. Some will be free, some will work to pay. Then we started organizing for the Christmas shows just to bring people call their attention. Call their, their attention to the project. So children were coming in. Fortunately, some of them were telling their parents. Then, these students from the University of uh, that one in Agoway, not they too got interested. Some of them will come, will be shocked. Maybe with two bars of soup, mm -hmm. one pongo of gari from their provision. Mm -hmm. you know? And so they started involving their. Um, societies, their groups, the same thing, um, Tashulari University. So people started coming in groups like that. And you know, a little here, a little there. That's all. Uh, so God will supply. That's, that's all. If that doesn't stop, then the whole can not stop. Mm -hmm. If you bring your cup of gari and another person brings his own, you know, things started moving like that. So, uh, we had some societies coming, I think let's say in the last 10 years, something like that. Fortunately, the regular regular still got involved. When they come for Judeo, they will visit, make mm. their own donation. You know? Even though it's once a year for some of them, but it's still part of it. We really appreciate things like that. Mm -hmm. And um, it's hard enough. So people started coming like that. Churches sometimes, mosques sometimes, societies here and there. So that's what we depend on. We don't have a major, um, how do I put it, don't know like don't that. Don't know that it's Then, right. all of a sudden too, the Jebu, the grammar schools, the association, they started coming, they are long like jokes. For some of them have adopted a in the last maybe two years. When they come home for their program, you know, they will donate, do their own bits there too. We appreciate groups like that. So, and then um, some other schools, you find them coming along like my association. This um, the Jebu Muslim College, the, the, there is one along HGS. All us. Not if there is one. Muslim guests. Wow. Well, we find them coming once in a while. And, you know, I'm telling you, you think it should be a common one. That's a common a lot. When they come in, if it's 20,000, you draw. Another group draws 20,000. Because they know we have to this to them. Mm. Babies. Mm. You know, we maintain all kinds of things. Before I know past, um, she was able to influence so many of her friends, even outside. Some of, like, we are running solar now. Yeah. That's because a group from Netherlands contributed. Wow. You can see the panels there behind you. Wow. So they did not tell that with the okay. inverter, things like that. Mm. So that's what they do from this company. They even try to put it on, there's a building before this. That was our first building. Mm. We call it assisted living facility. So that one too has a um, solar. Then the one in town to has solar. Even though you know solar is not up that depending. Yeah. You have to keep changing so many things. Mm -hmm. And as you said, you know, 
that group too they are they are donated towards you know changing the things that we need to change maybe the battery this that okay and it's a lot of money mm. yeah. a lot of money wow. a lot of money and um, when you put together all these people helping i told you that this company initially they gave it to contractors if you know how much they put it we, we would not have been able to do anything wow. so i can't sell chief let's do it locally these are our builders too they can perform wonders mm. after all some many other people with houses they use local builders now so that was how we started mm. this building. some people will come for birthday there's a particular woman that came for her birthday she was the one who donated that um, Oh, the ball, okay. It costs us a lot of money because it's very complicated. It was a ball, and that is what supplies the entire company. Mm. Then, maybe jobs, okay, we want to supply this, or a group. Somebody's um, uncle mm. died, they collected money, said, what, do you, what can I do to help you? Okay, we want to buy doors for the building. And the man supplied, but he only came here once. The bicycle rider, you know, all these um, his athletes, he came to meet her for the doors. Mm. I was the, how do I call it? She supervised the engineer. <laughs> the engineer did the engineer for everything. Woman, everything. For you everything. Yeah. And I will go to Lagos because I know if you send these artisans to buy, they will cheat you. Mm. I will see you really buy tile, buy these, buy doors, buy to make those to bring down the walls. And at the end of the day, what we hear, it, it got completed. But many people did not know. Those people still waiting that um, they have contract for you. They were shocked. And they saw that it was already completed. It was uh, in Kakas when I know that. But God helped with a little here, a little there, we finished everything. So, upon what balance, simply we have a house. Amen. Mm-hmm. 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 Yes. Because the Nigerians are full. They can just wake up tomorrow and say, what? Oh. It's a mobile property. Oh, oh. Money. Okay. Money. He behaves when you give him the medication. This is Tokwe. Tokwe. Mongolism, a case of Mongolism. Mm-hmm. He has been with us since 2005. Mm. Phil and Lori says hi. Phil and Lori. Speech problem. Okay. Hearing defect to some extent, but he can hear you with one ear. Okay. And um he's a slow learner. He too is a slow learner. Mm-hmm. He was traumatized at, uh, during battle also because there is a car, a scar on him mm-hmm. and was abandoned. Isha Oluwa, this guy is from Ikiti State because we take our children directly from state government, mm-hmm. not from individuals. Take them from directly from state. Okay. So that we know that this is a true case of abandonment. This is from, he is from Ogun State. Very handsome man. Talk where, talk where, in his own case as a mother that we know, but the father is late. He has been with us since 2005. Okay. Our dear lady here is um, from Ogo State too. Okay. This is Bosse. Bosse. Say hello, Phil and Laurie. Uh, Phil and Laurie. Speech. Okay, speech also, okay. Speech problem, she can hear you. And she too, she's a slow learner. Okay. This is Odu. Odu. Odu is from Oshun State. Oshun State. Okay, I was just coming from Oshun. Mm-hmm. That's a state. In fact, she came in in a pretty bad state. Oh, wow. Uh, like yeah. vegetable. Oh, wow. Serious question for her malnutrition. Wow. But with a specialized feeding. Mm. She picked up. We didn't know she would be able to walk. Amen. But she has been walking now in the last two years. Amen. Mm-hmm. So she's improving greatly. This is Bellumi. Bellumi has been with us since uh, 10 months. Mm. He had hydrocephalus, water in the head. Mm. 
the first operation cost us two million. Wow. There is a shunt from his head. Mm. You can see the tube. Mm. You know? Okay. You can see here. There is a tube from here okay. passing into his abdomen, abdomen so that it will flush out the excessive fluid. And you need to change it as it grows. Mm. Then it has become very challenging. It's affect, it has affected his brain too. Sometimes you need to go to um, the psychiatric hospital in Naro because mm. you might need to tie him down sometimes. Mm. 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 It's above them. <laughs> good afternoon. My name is Good News Mara Kisamwa. I attend. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, My name is Good News Mara Kisamwa. I attend National University of Education Secondary School at Ijaku. Wow. At in Beba, in the university? No, secondary school. Okay. Secondary school. He started late. Mm. So he's now in GSS 1. Okay. But he's improving. Okay. He's an orphan. He's an orphan, okay. Are you. <laughs> come, I come. said, that one looks. That's the cook. <laughs> <laughs> that's the nurse. The cook. This is Patricia. Okay, Patricia. Patricia came in from Lagos. Um, Catholic uh, orphanage. They couldn't take care of so many. So okay. we had to relieve them. Patricia has Down syndrome. Mm. You can see. But Patricia mm. has really, really uh, coped with the rehabilitation process. Mm. She can take care of the younger yeah. ones. She can change their diapers, feed okay. them, give them their bath. So she has really improved. We even call her assistant metro. Assistant Abby? metro, okay. okay. <laughs> So I can see that all of you love mom very much, you know, and that's um, good. And I, I want you all to continue like that. Our auxiliary nurse, she's okay. a nurse in church. Okay. And on Sundays like this, they do the, she cooks even all, all the days too. Mm. Because we are short staff, that's another challenge. Okay. It's difficult Nobody to wants get, to work here. They don't want to work with children with special needs. Why is that? Because they're afraid somebody will beat them up? Apart from that, it's, it's, it's not very easy. Salary. No, that's an issue. The salary is an issue, but apart from that, to take care of a child with special, you can see them looking radiant. That's just <laughs> maybe twenty percent of the time. Most times they can go funny. Oh yeah. You know because I have of their manager brain. in the US, he has thirty clients like this. Mm -hmm. You know the government will give them money to even keep them in the house. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, they are now the homeless. You know? If they don't take their medication once, ah, once. they will bring the glass and Like there was a day that guy wanted to attack her. Yes. You know, they uh, can do that. So who wants day. that? Most yes. of our nurses, they don't want that type of job. Mm -hmm. They would rather work in the normal orphanage, mm -hmm. you know, where you don't have special needs. Then the other company, we have some of them, 20 something year old, they will defecate all over the place. Mm -hmm. Who wants to do that type of job? You have to clean, you have to do all kinds of things. We have a man there, maybe you saw him. He's going, he's 39, I think, Shegun. He has been with us since we started, 97. He drools 247. Mm -hmm. And if you move near him, you can imagine the stage. Mm -hmm. So most people cannot cope. Okay, so okay, so okay, I think we saw him. Okay. There is a girl too. We had an uh, operation for him twice mm -hmm. at Bangkok University. You know how expensive that place is? Because she had congenital problems with her alimentary system, mm -hmm. you know. And um, unfortunately, when they opened her up, they said it's not something they can help with. Mm -hmm. And she has to just be like that. So let me ask you, because if the government comes tomorrow and gives eight more people, there is room here for them. We have room, but the issue is we need support. We, need support. we don't want so to just keep them down. there. Really so down. many. If, I, if you oh. ask me the number we have done, down. I'm not exaggerating. We'll be, we'll be more than 200. From really? governments, from individuals, this year alone, uh, <laughs> this year alone will be almost 30 or more. This year alone. We have rooms for them to sleep, but what of money? To, to buy one thing or the other, then no staff to okay. care for them. Okay, Mr. Dolapo, you asked me to ask what is the most important need is staffing first of us financing. let's just say forget the staffing now it's money mm -hmm. then if money comes and they can they can say hey look you're supposed to be getting fifty thousand naira a month oh. 
but we will pay you 150. Then the person will really think twice to say, you know, I don't want to lose that kind of money. So please, Phil and Laurie, I'm appealing to you. I'm having goosebumps talking. I think God delayed me for this moment to come here. And Mr. Lord, thanks for the gift you've given to me, Trump. Uh, I guarantee we'll, there will be more coming. I know you, you're a man of God. I know what you've done in my life. I know what you've done in many, many people's life. You're a giver because God has blessed you and you're giving that. So that's the number one is the money to get the staff. 200 people are out there. There's nobody to take care of them. These are children of God. These are the real children. Please, I'm appealing to you, Phil and Laurie. I'm here representing you. This is real. I, 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 I'm touching reality here. This is not something I'm looking at National Geographic or American television. I'm, I'm here in person touching them. So please, whatever we can do, uh, you know, uh, God will bless you. Very handsome man, all of them, all good looking people, you know. And Madame, I, I can't even imagine me working here and, and doing this. It, it's stress, it's a lot. But when I entered, when she entered today, all these kids went and hugged her. That, that, that was, I was speechless, you know, that they love her so much and let that love continue. So please rest assured I'm part of you now and whatever I can do on my end, I will support Mr. Bellato and I guarantee you, we are not like any other people. We are not, I work with top, top people in the U.S. I work with even for Senator, they, they want to have me come for some inauguration. That tells you a lot. So, um, we're not, there's some Nigerians. And there are some Nigerians <laughs> to different worlds. Mm -hmm. So I'm mm -hmm. one of the real mm -hmm. Nigerians. Mm -hmm. and and Mom, Mom, I want to tip in this. Yes. On behalf of Ferrobudu uh, Society, my beloved children here and uh, the other company, we are really grateful to you, Mr. Dolapo, uh, Phil and Lori, for this gift. Yes. We were given. <laughs> they handed it over to us. Mm -hmm. So it's in our hands. Okay. We we Make sure we spend it justifiably. Thank you so much. God bless you. And I will be grateful to hear from you soon. Say thank you, sir. Thank you. God bless you. Say thank you, Phil and Lori. Wait, wait, wait. I wanted to say Phil and Lori. Say thank you, Phil and Lori. Wait, Phil and Lori. Phil and Lori. Wait, wait. All of you come and wave. Wave to the camera. Is it, are you recording? Yes. Yes. Wave and say thank you. Okay, say thank you, Phil and Lori. Thank you, Phil and Lori. Okay. Thank you. We are grateful. Thank you for your visit. Okay, so this has nothing to do with the with the gift that is giving you, but I'm gonna give you all so you can buy tree down and come. Yeah, yeah. okay, this is yours. Thank this you very much. much. This is nothing. Children say thank you. Yeah, nothing. Thank you. This is nothing. Yeah, this is nothing. Thank you. Thank you. And because you're the oldest, are you the oldest? I know in Nigeria, is you always call somebody the funny brother. Thing is, he's tall, but he's not the oldest. Yeah, yeah you're tall. Who's the oldest? The oldest. If you're the oldest, the oldest then you get two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So this is yours. And that's yours. And that's yours. This is for you. If you do well, when I come back next time, when I come back with Phil and Glory and John Apple, I will ask mommy how you're doing. If you behave very well, you get more. Okay? Let us, pray to, let us pray together. Okay? Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this moment. We thank you for all these children. You. you died for them. There's not a soul that you did not die for. For such, you said children, children are the inheritance of God. And you also said, and let this little one come to you, for this is the kingdom of God. We know after all this, that they suffer here on earth, there's a nice place waiting for them in heaven. Father, until then, I pray you will keep them pure. You will keep them uh, intact with your blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Blood of Jesus Christ will protect them. Amen. Blood of Jesus Christ will never leave them alone. Amen. Oh Lord, I commit my nature into your hand. You put the love of this children into, into, into our heart. I pray that love will never end in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, beyond your own expectation, I pray that you will surprise her. Help from above will come down in Jesus' name. Lord, as you Put me here at this moment with Dolapo and Phil and Lori. We pray that the partnership will never end in Jesus' name. We are here for them. 
Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, and the coat and the papa that is helping them out. I pray, Lord, that the blessing that you've given them and the power and the love that you put in them will never cease in Jesus' name. While I go back tomorrow to Hollywood to give this news, I pray that you will help them out and you will mobilize them up to come there in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because you passed it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Jesus, power. Jesus, power. Remember, it's all about Jesus. So. Thank you very much. Oh, I thought that's right. Oh, I should write it. Oh, no, no. Mrs. Bella, for the Ah, we have to. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay, Phil and Laurie and Mr. Jalapa, this is a pair. Somebody donated that water boy or water for them. Uh, this is supposed to be the main entrance. Uh, I think the kids come here to play. As you can see, the number one thing they like is uh, finance, you know. Um, I can't even imagine. $2,000, $5,000. If they can it's, it's, give them and make a water, pure water factory for them. Or pure water. Name, but they drink the water, sir, right? No, no, no. What I'm saying is just to generate more funds for them. Okay. If they can give them a factory, water factory company here, yeah, they'll be making bottled waters and pure water. And selling they'll it. be selling it and the, the generating fund, the money. Okay. Generating money and they'll be putting it back to the orphanage. That's a good so Yeah. Them. Okay. Mommy, she was just saying something about, you know, maybe part of what we can even discuss in U.S. is maybe generate uh, pure water something factory, set it up here, so you'll be selling in the street and generating money. That would be the greatest thing. Eh? Uh, because okay, so, Mr. Dolapo, you hear that? So, there's revenue coming in, so the orphanage is sustaining is, it itself. Yes. Okay. That's why Perfect. we okay. have, um, we try to set up second-hand shops. Okay. If even they can help us collect second-hand goods, mm. like can uh, use clothes, use toys. Ah! Mr. Dollar for goodwill in in United so States. So if they can send that, so a group sent it one time. It really went a long way. Okay. Okay. These ones are okay. studio flats. Okay, this is studio flats. Just to okay. raise money. That's why we made the, um, this one. Okay. Studio flats. So that if people want to stay there, okay. they have income from there. 